What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nathan Step back with another video. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I do NBA reactions and all types of other sports reactions. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day as well. In today's video, we are diving into Saku doing Boya's highlights and his basically his pre-draft workout if you haven't seen my last Saku doing boy reaction definitely be sure to click the card above the screen I did a reaction to that and let me know what you think of that let me know what you think of Saku as a player in general I think he's a steal I think Detroit got their hands on a great player and a great asset this guy runs the floor really well okay he got that explosiveness Got that agility. I hope there's not a bunch of ads in this. See what the handle's looking like. Like this guy is so young. You gotta take that in consideration. Like he has so many years until he hits his prime to develop, to get better. He's 6'9, 6'11 wingspan. I think he's like 215, 220. Dude has the potential to be a monster if he puts in that work, which I think he will. I don't think he's like he's gonna slack off at all. He looks like a hard worker. Explosive. He looks like he's good with both hands too. It's just solid. This is that. This is a great training video. If you play basketball and you wanna, you wanna get your skills to that next level, man. You gotta take notes on this. This is the type of like game speed, NBA speed type of drills that you need to be practicing. Uh, nice little crossover. You know what I'm surprised about? I'm surprised he wasn't taking higher. I'm surprised he wasn't taking higher. He's already played pro. I know he's an international player. There's always this, let me stop the video. There's always this stigma about international players not being able to play well. I understand where that comes from. I understand it. But this guy's 17 years old playing professional basketball. He has the height, the physical tools, you know, he has he has it. He has everything. I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm going to play the video while, while I speak. But he ha he has that it factor. He has that potential to be be a huge steal in the draft. And at, at the worst, he could be a great defensive player. At the worst, he could be a great defensive player. We've seen his defensive highlights. If you watch my already, if you watch my other video, you know he's a great defensive player. We know that about him. I guess he's sort of still like a mystery to scouts. But from what I've seen, I'm telling you, give this guy, it might not be next year, he might not be a great rookie, but give him, give, come back to this video in four years or five years, and you're going to see that this guy was the steal of the draft. I'm telling you guys, this guy's got to be the steal of the draft. And then Detroit got, uh, you, you guys just signed uh, Derrick Rose. So it's just gonna be interesting. So you got Derrick Rose, Saku, Blake Griffin, it's Dr Drummond still on the Drummond. You all got a Drummond still on that team. Uh, should be an interesting team. I say that's an athletic team besides Derrick Rose's knees and Andre Drummond's uh, hairy, hairy back. But that's a pretty athletic team. See, I was questioning his jumper in the other video. He got strapped from three. He got strapped. Like, he will not miss three pointers when he's wide open. But I mean, right here, it looks like obviously there's no defense on him in his practice. But he has a good little fluid form. He has like good motion, you know. You could tell kind of when they have a little hitch in their shot. He doesn't. He has like a fluid, nice little form to it. Nice touch. Dude looks nice. If he gets his handles right, which I already think they're pretty good for, yes, he's a top 10 pick. 
I already think that this guy's handles are nice, but if he gets them to that next next level, like better than Giannis, because I feel like Giannis, that's what he needs to work on, obviously. His handles, I'm not trying to compare him to Giannis, but they are both international players. If he gets his handles right, man, it's a wrap. He needs to get his handles right. What do you think in the comments? Let me know. What do you think he needs to work on? If you know, if you even know anything about him, let me know what you you think he needs to work on. Um, I think every player can improve on their handles, honestly, except for like Chris Paul. I mean, he can too, but he's he's basically. I mean, Chris Paul and Steph, they're both pretty like they're like godly at their handles, but. All right, I want to see this mid range. See what he can do off the dribble here. It looks good. He looks solid. Obviously, this is a little highlight film, so it's not going to show like too many misses. It might show a few, but like from what I'm seeing, he dribbles with his eyes up. Uh, he looks confident when he dribbles. He looks explosive. Good little Hezo. Good little Hezo. I saw somewhere I was okay. I was reading the comments for like one of his his like draft day videos. I forgot what I think it was maybe ESPN or, or one of those YouTube channels. You guys were comparing him. Some of you guys, some of you Detroit fans were comparing him to Stanley Johnson. I don't see any resemblance between him and Stanley Johnson at all. I feel like he has way better tools than Stanley Johnson. Now I'm not knocking Stanley Johnson. I feel like he's way more one-dimensional than this guy. All right, last, last two. Go as hard as you can. I wish I told you what teams these were for. Come on. This looks like, oh, this is Dallas. Right when I say that, it shows a little logo at half court, of course. Good. All right. Go. Get up. Get up. Ugh. Quick break, quick break. Shit, shit, shit. Float. Get there. Punch it. Good. Get back. Good. You're well, kid. That's fluid. You're well. I mean, I could do that, too. All you're going to do is you're going to float into the same way. You drop your hands. The trainer just say I could do that, too? Maybe if you don't shut up. So you're just going to float? Right? I'm right into that. You could that do that reverse. Three. So it's three. Reverse three, dunk. Three. Three. Everything's off your left hand. Okay? These trainers get too full of themselves sometimes. One. Drop the hips. This is what we want to see here. We don't want to see those highlights. We just want to see straight, straight, straight uh, in-game film. We want to see the misses. We want to see. We want to see how accurate he is. Three four. All right, three for four. Oh, he's gonna cut it off after. We still know he can shoot. Like I'm saying, man, Stanley Johnson can't do this. I'm not knocking Stanley Johnson though. But I'm just saying, like, don't compare this man to Stanley Johnson. He's a lot younger. He, he's already played professional basketball at an early age. Before he was even, like, 18 years old, he was already playing pro basketball. He's bigger than Stanley. Taller, I mean. I feel like he has a longer wingspan. Runs the floor a lot better. And I think, wasn't Stanley a lottery, was Stanley a lottery pick? I forgot. I'm from Cali, so he didn't play too far away from where I'm from. So I always heard a lot of news about Stanley. I don't see him at all being like Stanley though. Oh my God, we got an ad guys in the middle of this. I'm gonna click off, don't worry, do not click off this video. <laughs> We go, okay, sorry about that ad. You guys probably got an ad when you clicked on this video too. I'm so sorry. There's ads all over YouTube now, dude. You got that strap though, that mid-range strap. For sure. Oh, that's three, I'm tripping. That's not even from midi, that's a, that's a three-pointer right there. He's well behind the arc. I like this, I like this. I like that. Uh. That's so con that's fluid. That's consistent. We like that. So what you miss? 
Good, explode, explode, yeah. Mm. I'm telling you, he, he, he's very raw. He's very raw, like skill wise. But give this man some years to develop and improve all around, like his all around, like physique, his handles, everything that he has, everything that God already blessed him with, and he will thrive, I'm telling you guys. He has that potential in him, I'm telling you. And he already has a pretty good shot too. Shot 33% from three, but he was only playing like, he wasn't playing that many minutes professionally overseas. Which is also why I think he was drafted a little lower than I than I would have expected. He wasn't top ten because of that. Because like these scouts didn't really get to see him play. You know, he's over in France. I feel like I'm just I'm just talking, talking, talking. I'm gonna just watch this. Got good stamina too. That's cool, man. That's cool. Shout out to Ball's Life for the uh, the footage. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing the link if you did. I really appreciated that as well. You know who you are. Shout out to you. Anyways, Saku doing Boya. I think this guy's gonna be a steal in the draft. Saku, man, you got all the skills and the talent in the world. Just keep working on your game. Keep working on your handles every single day. Keep working on your three point shooting. And uh, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm talking to you. Like if you're watching this video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is Saku doing Boya's uh, NBA draft workouts. Let me know what you think of him in the comments below. I think this guy can be a steal. I think he has the biggest steal potential in the draft, which is why I keep reacting to him. If you haven't seen my first video, I keep saying it. Go check it out. Anyways, guys, Saku doing Boya. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Until next time, step to step, I'm out of here.